I think it's a few factors. I think one is like liberal have like drifted so far left that you know most people see no difference between liberal and labor. So they think like, well, what's the point of voting liberal? We're not getting anything different. So I think labor seems to be much more community focused and in the community. I know in Liverpool it's that case. So you know, labor sort of winning on that front. I think people as well are just you know seeing the problems in the country. They're seeing Liberal and Labor. It's been Liberal for the last however many terms in New South Wales, so they're just trying something different. And um, that, that trend seems to be happening across the country. I think there's like the brainwashing as well of the, of the woke agenda as well, is we're finally seeing the results of that. Um, I think as well, you know, just the conservative base is being disenfranchised by Liberal going left. So rather than helping other conservative minor parties, they're just bowing out of the fight. And that's a problem too, because in politics, when you, when you bow out of the fight, you're not, you're not actually taking a stand. You're just letting the other side win. You, you, can't, you can't think of removing yourself as politics as actually helping the fight. You've got to think of politics as a game that's being played. And if you're not on the field playing the game, then there's no opposition anymore. So, because you've got to realize, it's not like when you step out of politics, the game no longer gets played. And this is the, the, the huge problem with the freedom movement right now, is they just think, oh, it's all corrupt, and, oh, you know, it's all rigged, oh, what's the point of getting involved, you do anything, it doesn't make a difference. And they think that not being involved is helping the cause. But it's not, it's not helping the cause at all, because the game gets played whether you play it or not. That's what you have to realize. If you don't play the game, the game just gets played without us. And that's why people say, you can ignore politics, but politics doesn't ignore you. So that's why if we, if we don't get involved, it, it's not like politics just ceases to exist in Australia and laws no longer get passed and government just starts leaving you alone because, hey, they, they come, you know, it's like the night, they go knock on your door, oh, you didn't vote, you didn't take part, all right, we'll leave you alone. That, that doesn't happen. So this is the problem. I think a lot of the problem is, you know, the side that is awake is not involved. And then what is left is Labor, the Greens, Animal Justice, and the Teals. And I think that is part of the problem. But, you know, um, maybe, you know, this, this sermon will tie into uh, sort of uh, the things that we're talking about today. But I'm, I'm preaching through Acts 8, but, you know, you know, persecution might be coming, you know, the hard times are coming, and maybe that will wake some people up politically as well.